What's up guys, welcome to another episode. I don't know about you guys, but this year for Christmas I got an Instant Pot. Apparently that's been a fairly popular item that people have been getting for Christmas this year. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how to do the vertical diet made easy in the Instant Pot instead of in the rice cooker like I have been in the past. So with that being said, let's go. All right guys, so first of all, for those of you that don't know, I am currently 12 weeks out uh, from surgery, post-surgery, post-op, and I finally have been able to start working out again and it feels great. Today is a low carb day on the vertical diet. I am currently trying to cut weight, cut fat. My goal is to get back down to about 200 pounds or less. Um, so that's been uh, kind of what's been going on lately. Currently, uh, I weigh about 230 pounds, um, which has kind of been the norm. That's probably been the average weight for me for the last year, but I am kind of wanting to change things up. So uh, for the vertical diet today, we are not using rice. We're going to have a lot of beef and we're going to have a lot of uh, vegetables that are vertical diet approved minus one thing. I'm going to be using an onion, but the thing is, is all of this stuff is going in the Instant Pot for about an hour. All the vegetables too. I know that's not recommended if you want to uh, have vegetables that are somewhat firm, but my um, plan here is that I don't care and I just want to put it all in the pot and let it cook and then eat it all after. So uh, yeah, this recipe um, is going to cause the uh, vegetables to be very, uh, very soft and uh, but I don't mind that. That's what I want. Uh, that's what I'm going for. If you don't want your vegetables to be super soft with this plan I have set up here, then I would put in, I would take 10 minutes off your total cook time on this. And, uh, and when that buzzer goes off, a uh, quick pressure release, open up your pot, add your vegetables, start with the pressure cook cycle again and um, for 10 minutes and that will be long enough to cook your vegetables just right. But for me personally, I'm just gonna put it all in the pot and do it in one go. So what I have here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cooking this three and a half pound pot roast. Uh, this is a beef chuck pot roast. This thing is three and a half pounds. It being three and a half pounds, it's going to cook down to about 42 ounces or so, which will be about 250 grams of protein and about 50 or so grams of fat. All right, so that's, that's what we've got going on there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put this in our Instant Pot. We are going to have this little uh, grate down on the bottom here. So we're gonna have that like that and we're just going to set the pot roast right in there. So I'm just gonna set you guys down right here. Now typically what, uh, what you would want to do is sear both sides of this roast in your Instant Pot by using the saute button, but like I said, I'm not really interested in making this take up more time than what I want it to. I just want to be able to throw everything in and get the job done and then eat it and move on. So what we're going to do is we've got our pot roast in here now. Next, we're going to put in about half of our chicken bone broth. This is going to aid in digesting all of this meat. We're gonna put about half of this in here. We're dumping it right on top of our roast there. That, maybe a little more, that's about half. 
of that is it a little bit more all right that'll do it for that so then we've got that there and then i'm just going to be throwing in the rest of these vegetables right on top here and like i said there is a better way to do this to make things more normal more what the average person is used to eating and how they would like it. Most of you probably watching my channel right now are not the average individual. You are probably a bodybuilder or a power lifter or an athlete of some sort and you don't care about that. We're just all about getting the nutrients in and working our asses off. So that's what this is all about. All right, so we've got the spinach set up in here. Just kind of thrown on top. Next up, we're just gonna be slicing things up. We've got two bell peppers, a zucchini and a squash, and then one yellow onion. So this onion is not on the recommended list of things to eat on the vertical diet. However, I am not concerned about that because um, it's going to be cooking in here for about an hour and it's going to basically disintegrate into the liquid. We're doing this more for flavor. We're not really going to get any nutrition out of it. Um, so yeah, don't, uh, don't be a hater. All right. So I'm going to cut all this stuff up now and put it in the pot. All right guys. So we got our instant pot loaded up and ready to go. So I'm going to put on the lid now. And it is ready to go. Make sure you have your, uh, what is this thing called? The, the vent thing to sealed. And that is all ready to go. So what we're going to push here, pressure cook. And this is a three and a half pound roast. So we're going to go for an hour and five minutes on there. And that is it so that's gonna cook i'm gonna go get some stuff done around the house um and i will see you guys in an hour and five minutes this is a pretty low carb day i'm probably gonna get about 50 grams of carbs out of that from all the vegetables. Yeah, like I said, there's about 250 grams of protein, about 50 grams of fat or so, 50 or 60. Uh, and then I'm going to be adding to this um, some raw carrots, a couple eggs, uh, whole eggs. And then tonight I'm going to eat about two servings of yogurt. So I'm gonna end up being at about 300 grams of protein, probably about 100 grams of carbs, and yeah, about 50 grams of fat. So that's all that I've got for you guys today. So thank you so much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or send me an email at chaseirons at gmail.com. If you're interested in any sort of online training or nutritional counseling, email me. That's probably the best way to do uh, a more of an in-depth conversation that way instead of just commenting below. If you are not following me on Instagram, please do that at Chase Irons. There on my story, I post a lot of information about, you know, what I eat. Um, I do a lot of Q&As on there so you guys can have a chance to ask your questions and I'll answer them as quickly as possible there. Um, yeah, and, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you next time.